Hey, you guys. Yeah, I just uh, noticed that uh, the rear wiper blade is starting to shred. So we are going to uh, replace this and this because I broke this. Be right back. Pretty simple to do, but there's two. There's a couple things that, uh, if you don't know, um, you could wind up breaking something like I did, and I'll show you what I broke after a bit here. Um, but the first thing you want to do, you need the wiper arm to pivot up so you can get to, to the uh, wiper blade. This just snaps up and out. You kind of sp spread it a little bit, pull it up. That's going to allow the wiper arm to come up, pivot up. Now, this, it, it, right at this point, it should make a click or a snap that releases it. Um, but I, br I broke the tab on the arm, so I had to order a new arm also, which I'll, which I'll show you here in a, in a little bit. This is how you want it to go back in. Lower part, I guess here. Yeah, I'll show you on the new one. Okay, so now we're gonna, it's just one nut on here, and then we're gonna need to uh, pry this up. And they actually do make a uh, wiper arm puller, um, but uh, we aren't gonna use that. We're just gonna, we're gonna go gently with a, with a big flat screwdriver and, and just kind of pop, pop it off here. This is 10 millimeter. Okay, so that's what this looks like. The uh, wiper blade. You know, whatever brand you buy, it's gonna be this this number here, 11 inch, whatever. Um, and I'm guessing the R stands for rear. And here's the wiper arm. I think uh, I, got, I got this off of rockauto.com. Uh, I think it was 26 bucks plus shipping, so like 30. 31 bucks or something like that. Got here in like three days. Okay, here, here is the, here's the new wiper arm. Here's the old wiper, wiper arm. Do you see what I might have broke? I broke this tab off of here. Right here. And that, I did that because when I, uh, I was practicing, you know, sometimes I'll do something before, before I uh, video it for you guys. So I was, I pulled it off fine. It, it, and you'll see when we, when we put it on the new one here that it's gonna make a, a click or a snap because what it's doing is there's a, there's a little lip here that it's kind of snapping into. Um, I got it off fine, but when I went to put it back on so I could video it for you guys, I put the, the wiper blade backwards, like this, and snapped, you know, s snapped the tab. Um, so here's the new one, here's, here's the new wiper blade. I'm just gonna do it right now uh, to show you guys. And it's, Okay, now you can you can actually see what's snapping in there. Hopefully, there. Now, when, when you pull it back off, that's what it should sound like when you're taking it off the vehicle, like that. So, hopefully, that uh, makes it pretty clear for you guys. Okay, let's go put this new new one on the uh, back on the car. Okay, we're just gonna go back on the same way we came off.
and and you do want to index it which because uh, if you tighten it down and you're down here well you're obviously going to have the thing leaning across so you want to you want to you want to put it where at the bottom of the window here And I could not find a torque, so just do it reasonable, snug, plus a little bit, I guess. All right, guys, we're done. Have a good one. Give, give, give us a subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get this video, this uh, channel monetized, um, and we're getting really close. So uh, yeah, if you could share this with, with anybody that has a has a has a, a 2011 to 2019 Grand Cherokee, um, or an 06 Grand Cherokee, or that 05 Mustang, um, and plus our camping adventures. I'm gonna go full time RVing. So thanks you guys.